everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Erica and my co-star, Mummer. Yes, today we have a little cameo. Yeah, very unimpressed um, appearance of uh, my little chica here. But we're gonna go and give her a little hello. Oh, she's come up and says she's grumpy, so yeah. Then she gets to take part in Mummy's crafting. So today we're gonna have a look at some cuddy cards that Mummy made. Yeah, you wanna play with Mama? No. No, she she probably thinks if it's not snacks, she's not interested. But um, I am going to show you a couple of cards I made with the Pink Fresh Studio release. And um, yeah, we're gonna go into detail and have a little bit of fun. So it's January and we have a pretty nice release. So much good stuff. So first off we have um, two die cuts that uh, one is say called uh, curvy leaf or cur curly leaf foliage actually. Curly leaf is another one. And we also have artistic blossoms. So these are just die cuts that you can color, ink blend, cut out of gold cardstock or colorful cardstock, whatever. And uh, just add the select little details onto your cards. I have used the curvy foliage on one card actually, where I cut it out of white and vellum to kind of layer up. This is super monochromatic, so unlike me. But, um, yeah, and it's also used some other on new goodies, but you can see the little foliage there. And it's just like a nice little touch to add, like behind sentiments and things like that, if you just want to add a little bit of interest to something. And we also have a, a sparkling diamonds cover plate, and I do love me a good cover plate. I really do. I haven't used this on a card, but I do have a panel actually here where I've cut it out of just white cardstock and I reckon you can also poke like all the little squares like these holes through and you could stitch on them again add to a list of things to try and then we have uh, so many good hot file stuff so this one is called arch backdrop and the cool thing about this one is that it has a die cut where you cut out the arch. I mean, where did he come up with this? It's just genius. This one I've not used, but there is more. Next up we have Art Deco. And this one has uh, not only a uh, hot foot plate, but a layering stencils. Oh yes. This one I've used extensively. <laughs> yes. Um, and I've also, with the solid hot foil plate, made a lot of backgrounds, yes. So uh, there are three ways, obviously, you can use your hot foil plate. So the first way is to hot foil the actual pattern. So this is a uh, black foil, but I have done it in many colors, including rainbow. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's not that one. That's another one. Hmm. I should have all this ready before I uh, start filming, shouldn't I really? But here we go. So you can see, yeah, gold. There's the black. There's the rainbow. Oh, so good. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not going to lie. Right, so then you can use uh, your uh, negative or the leftovers with your solid hot foil plate and make some super cool backgrounds. And yes. I might have been on a bit of a roll. Just a, just a little bit, because you know, it's pretty fabulous. Now the third way you can use your hot foil plate is as an embossing folder. Oh yes, look at that. So you can either use with uh, with this uh, to the front or the back, depending on whether you want dips or texture on top. So 
super cool. Next up, it's Geoblocks, and it's another Hoffer plate. And I did show that when I was throwing up stuff around. And it also comes with uh, layering stencils. So this I have, again, used excessively. Because, you know, quality control and trials and errors and all that, right? So <laughs> I uh, I started out with uh, the, the rainbow foil. And it looks really, really cool. Super cool. And uh, I have used the negative. Now, I did have a little bit of issue with my pressure with my hot foil plate, uh, the on hot, hot foil plate. So I've been trying to kind of make sure I get a, you know, the best imprint I can get. And the one thing I've noticed is if I fold a, uh, a thin sheet of paper, like a, a normal size paper, just in two, and add that to my shim when I'm doing this solid hot foil plate, it adds a little bit of extra pressure, but not too much so that your machine kind of goes, oh. And that seemed to do quite well because look at that. Yeah, it's almost like perfect mirror cardstock. So tip top. Why do I say tip top? Top tip. Yes. And uh, like I said, super lovely gorgeous just with gold and white cardstock it's so so nice and i have made a fair amount of cards with that set so i have one two three yeah so these three of course and um this one and with the art deco uh, one as well. I made this card here. So I just use that gold foil in the background and it just mm. It's something it's just that little touch, right? Yeah, mm. not gonna lie. I love it And of course that you can also use as a embossing folder It's so fun. Like three for one. I am a fan. Big fan. Yes All right, so uh, next up we have flora envelope and this is a super cute little set So it's not a massive that set itself, but it has a little envelope and a little flower bunch and a bow. And these also come with layering stencils and die cuts. So the fun thing with the, the envelope die cut is actually that it cuts the little envelope open so you can tuck things inside of it. Cute. I like it. And then we have a Brighter Days, and it's a lovely floral stamp set. And it comes with, obviously, the stamp set, and you've got your layer stencil, you've got hot foil plate, and die cuts. So, also, if you're wondering about what these are, it's the, uh, these are the storage pockets from Avriel, and I find that I can get all four of the items in each set into one of these pockets, and it just keeps everything in one place. Because generally, if I'm gonna use once one of these items, I'm probably gonna be needing the rest of them. And I used to store my stencils and dies and hot foil plates and things separate, but it just, this saves so much time because if I grab this, I know everything I need is in it. So that's that's what I'm doing from now on. Okay, and then we have fancy script uh, words. And these are hot foils. <laughs> with coordinating die cuts and as you can see on the back there they're just like a really fun flirty sort of font and it, it works really well for everything like you got smile thanks hello happy birthdays hey and let's connect you're amazing you're the best yeah and um i again of course did these in like rainbow colors so yeah just so so fun and uh on this card, I used one of the stamp sets or hot foil sets, sentiment sets, the words, yeah. And the uh, same on this one, smile. And the same on this one, hello, you're amazing. Hi, you're amazing. And let's connect. And I actually have one more, but that is uh, also showing another stamp set that we haven't gotten to yet. So finally, uh, well, I say finally, it's not quite yet. Uh, we also have uh, Folk Art Slimline Layering Stencils. So I think there is, 
stamp set or maybe coordinate yeah this is a stamp set uh but i don't have that one so um i think this is going to be maybe put on the back burner for now for me anyway but it is really really fun i mean i can see this like being used in like proper folk artsy colors that would be nice i think yeah and then finally we have beautiful blooms and then a stamp set and it's nice beautiful big images like you see um like that and it comes with the coordinating die cuts and the layering stencils as well no half a place for these but you can always heat emboss them if you want to do that and uh i have gone ahead and made so many flowers with these so there will be many many more cards coming but uh here's one of the cards that i made using that and it also has the the fun uh, hot foiled words for that so yeah really great start to the year for pink fresh and their releases can't wait to see what else is coming in their next year but um as i said we um i will uh, go on into the video of actually making some of these cars as well and um there will, like i said there will be many many more and probably a lot of surreals as well because fun 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 and uh with that uh we're gonna hop into the the actual card making and uh, i hope you enjoy so first things first, we are going to heat up our uh, glimmer machine. I have the Spellbinders Glimmer Hot Foil machine and this is gold uh, foil. And uh, it's nearly finished on this roll, but uh, I'm still gonna try to just use what I need. So I use these uh, Fiskars, they're actually fabric cutters to uh, cut foil. I learned this trick by from um, Heidi Swap actually from years ago when uh, the Mink machine first came out and it just works a treat. It is so much easier than trying to cut foil with scissors. So once the machine has been uh, heated up, I, I usually put my plate on as soon as I turn the machine on because I do find that once the hotter it is, or the more, the longer it's been on there, the hotter it gets and then the more evenly it will distribute the heat. So you're gonna wait for the machine to be ready and then we are going to put our shims on the plate and then we're going to run it through the die cutting machine very very slowly so this is actually sped up so you can tell how slowly i'm going i think this is actually sped up four times so i am going extremely slowly to give that foil and the hot foil plate just time to kind of mesh with the paper so we are going to remove all of this and uh, we're going to get to the best part this is for sure the best part of foiling the reveal look at that ah, it's so pretty i love 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 this so cool now we're not going to waste this part so this negative part we are going to use that with the solid hot foil plate so i what i do with this is because it's, it's difficult to tell um exactly where the the plate is sometimes is that i use a little bit of um washi tape skinny washi tape to hold the foil in place and this works as well uh, when you're doing like the pattern so here again i have put the the plate on the machine as soon as i turned it on and then i have actually let it sort of run through the cycle a couple of times to make sure that it's very evenly heated and then we're gonna put our foil and our our paper uh onto uh onto the machine no it's over on, on the machine we're gonna take the whole thing the whole shebang and we're gonna put it into our uh, die cutting machine and we're gonna roll it slowly now with the um this this as i mentioned earlier in the sort of intro is that sometimes it's a little bit difficult you do need to be uh, a bit careful and when it comes to the solid foiling you can add an extra not shim maybe but i sometimes fold an extra sheet of paper to kind of get that extra pressure and you can see it's pretty good, Hi. but it's not perfect. So that's just something to kind of like try a few times because like before the whole foil plate, all this extra foil would just kind of go to waste. So now we can play and figure out what works and what doesn't work. But now we're gonna take one of these and we are going to actually use the layering stencils to add some color. And uh, uh, what I do is I take a little bit of washi tape and I secure that to the back of my paper. 
and then um, it's just easier this way I find to um, remove my stencils and uh, go back and forth sort of thing and add the layering ones. Now I am, uh, I'm actually going to be using a couple of different techniques here and you see that I, I try to kind of cover up bits with uh, the washi tape. Now this didn't work out as great as I was hoping. So for the next panel I did use another technique. So we're going to go into that right now. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take the washi tape, put it onto the back of our paper, stick our uh, stencils down. And then I have these bits that are called my finger savers. And these, these I usually use when I am uh, just ink blending. So I don't put my, my very oily fingers into the ink to leave fingerprints. But I have a couple of these and you can see that there is like a little bit of um, yellow uh, post-it tape on these just so I can see where they are. This is just very cheap acetate. Don't go wasting your expensive, nice acetate in this buy some very cheap stuff because this doesn't have to be very, very good quality. All it has to do is basically cover uh, your project. And um, so here I'm going to use the two pieces and then I'm going to use two other little pieces of uh, washi tape to kind of keep them in place so that I can just ink blend over this one little section. And then to kind of try to avoid any ink spillage or contamination, we are going to use a bit of a, this is an old kitchen towel that I use in the craft room now. So we're just going to wipe down the two pieces of acetate so that any color or ink that is left on those, we're going to wipe that up and then we are going to move to the next section, secure it down with the two little purple pieces of washi tape and then we're going to ink blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it and add uh, the color in. Now, on some of the lids, you can see that I um, I have a brush for each color and then I go in quite heavy to get that brush covered with ink and then I'm tapping off the excess onto the lid. And this is sped up a lot. So, I mean, this is going a lot faster than, you know, if I could do this, then I probably wouldn't have bingo wings because then we'll be like shaking off. But the reason I, um, I do that is to make sure that first of all, the brush is covered really, really well with the ink. And then also, instead of wiping this off on my like work table or work mat even, um, I'm keeping that for that time when I need a really, really, really soft blend. I mean, here we're going to go in heavy with ink because we're going to want super vivid and colorful background. But it's just a nice little sort of top tip hack for a nice soft blend. So this is stencil one done. And we're just gonna have a little look see at this because again, I mean, the reveal, whether it's stencil or foil coming off, it's just the best. I mean, look at that. Ooh. And this, you wouldn't actually need anything else than that. You can actually use that as it is. I like that a lot. And the fun thing with this, uh, with these stencils is that there is three stencils. I actually only ended up using two. Um, and here, I forgot to press record for the first two bits. Ugh like an idiot and you know you can't erase the ink blending so we're just gonna go with it. So um, we're going to uh, hop in here and we're gonna use the same technique with our two finger savers which are now ink blending savers I guess and uh, we're gonna go up and down and make sure that we cover each one of these blocks with color and we're gonna use the exact same color as the first stencil and then I did stop at stencil number two because I thought it actually made the colors pop even more with leaving that one little bit of white. So this is stencil two and we're going to peel and reveal and go, whoa, look at that. Pretty, 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 right? I like it a lot. So now um, we have a couple of backgrounds and I did actually forget to show that I ink blended what was left on those brushes with uh, over a third piece because yes, I went to town making stuff but here we're gonna add uh or we're gonna make a few bits and pieces to make sure that we have you know options when we're putting our cards together because i do like my options so this is the fancy script words and uh, these i have um hot foiled with the rainbow and with gold because you know again a girl's gotta have options and with the heather's um uppercase alpha dice i cut out the word high 
and I've also used uh, the stitched scallop rectangles to cut out a, um, a frame of gold. This is unfortunately, this is discontinued. This is from Tonic Studios and I think it was called like Honey Gold or something like that. It's a beautiful like satin matte gold mirror cuff sock and I'm so sad that they actually got rid of it. It's like, ah. if I'd known that they were going to discontinue, I would have bought like 50 packs. I kid you not, it's amazing. I love that stuff. But um, as I said, I have uh, used the, uh, the fancy script words and then I also did cut out a couple of uh, envelopes using the floral envelope set. So I cut one out of um, vellum, white cardstock and a really dark gray linen textured cardstock as well. And then I have used the, the script um, or the fancy script words to kind of make little messages pop out of these envelopes and just to kind of add a little bit of a fun element to the cards. And uh, you know, right now it is assembly time and I wasn't really sure exactly how these cards were gonna turn out before I started putting them together, but this is one of the reasons I make a lot of options so that I can puzzle, 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 and then kind of see what works and what doesn't work. And I must admit that I really love how they turned out. They're all different. And they just shown off the uh, the geo blocks hot foil well the plate and the stencils as well in different ways and um i have uh, these flowers actually from the beautiful blooms stamp set as well so i have heat embossed these and then just added some color with the layering stencils on here i've added some of those gorgeous sparkling champagne metallic pearls and here I may have used a one or two too many jewels, uh, just one or two, you know, it happens. But um, yeah, so with that, that is me done for today. But um, the Pink Fresh Studio January 2022 release is now live and ready in the shop. So I will link everything down below with compensated affiliate links. And don't forget that these links do not cost you anything extra at all. And I am so, so grateful if you use mine and I will see you soon again. Thanks for stopping by.